welcome back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on this look you see right here. It is a Valentine's Day pink halo eye. So if you wanna see how I create this look, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a part of the Pauline family yet. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this pink halo eye Valentine's Day romantic makeup tutorial. Well, hello guys and welcome back. So right now I'm gonna start off with my eyes and I'm gonna start off by doing a transition and since I am planning on doing a halo eye, I'm gonna go in with the shade Buon Fresco, which is that mauve purple shade in the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. And I'm gonna put this on my inner corner and also on my outer corner. And I'm gonna leave the middle empty. And I'm just building up this color to the intensity that I desire. So now I am gonna go in with this peach shade from the editorial palette and I'm gonna grab that on my Sigma E38. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower than that purple, but I'm gonna blend it into the purple. Don't forget to do both outer corner and inner corner. Now I'm going back in with that Morphe M504 with no additional product and I'm just gonna blend those edges. Now with the same E38, you can tell I have a huge space here, but I do want my halo eye to be mostly concentrated on my lid. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the pink, the one that we just used from the editorial palette, and I'm gonna put a little bit up here to kind of connect the halo eye but through the upper crease, not on my whole crease. Now going back into the M504, no additional product, just blending. Now with the same Sigma E38, I'm gonna dip into these two colors from the editorial palette. Now I'm going with my M504 and I'm blending the edges again. Now this is no additional product. I'm just gonna use anything that's left over and I'm kind of gonna grace it on that very upper crease on top of the halo we're gonna have. Now with this same brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Love Letter. I'm gonna pack it on the brush and I'm gonna put it really low on the outer corner and on the inner corner. I'm just packing it, not blending it yet. Of course, I'm leaving that space in the middle for the glitter. Now that the color is down with the same Sigma E38, I'm gonna very lightly blend the edges, but I'm gonna blend the edges on the outside. I'm not gonna blend this edge right here because we're gonna put the glitter anyway, and I do want to have the most opaque color possible so I'm just gonna blend the edges on the outside the ones that I'm gonna be able to see I don't know but those Anastasia shadows blend like a dream they're so easy to blend I just grabbed my Morphe M504 with no product on it and I'm just gonna blend over here this edge so now I'm gonna grab my Too Faced glitter glue and this Smashbox brush this is the shader brush and I'm gonna do one eye at a time because glitter glue does dry pretty fast. So I'm gonna be using today the Too Faced Loose Glitter in the shade Snow Fairy. I have a review on this whole pack that brings this glitter, so I will link it up on a tab up here. But I'm first gonna apply the glue on the halo. And now after applying the glue with the same brush, I'm gonna pack the glitter on the brush. I'm gonna pack it right there. Now this glitter is mostly white, but as you can tell, it has a pink iridescence to it. So it looks pink when the light hits it, so that's why I wanted to use this glitter. I'm gonna grab my Sigma E57 and I'm kind of gonna pat the edges of the glitter so that it kind of blends into that pink. This has no product, by the way. I'm gonna grab with that same Sigma A57 the shade Love Letter, which is the darkest shade we use to intensify our halo eye. And we're gonna kind of pat it on the corners of the glitter so that that dark color blends into the glitter. Thank you. 
And now I'm gonna go back into my Sigma E38 and I'm gonna grab some more of the shade Love Letter the pink we've been using and I'm gonna place it kind of on the socket of the crease on both sides of the halo eye to re-intensify that pink just blending the very upper crease so now since I do want the glitter to blend a little better into you know the mattes that we have I'm gonna go into this rose quartz shade it's like an iridescent pink a dual chrome from the editorial palette I'm just gonna pack it where the glitter meets the matte. I'm just gonna pack it here because this shadow blends better into a matte than a glitter. Going back in with that E57, blending the edges of that duochrome. Okay guys, so that is the halo eye done. I am gonna now do the halo eye on this side and I will be back to do my brow bone in a corner with you guys. Okay, so now that the middle of our halo eye is done, I am gonna grab this highlighter shade, the pink one from the Carly Bible palette in my Sigma E57 and I'm gonna put this on the inner corner and on my brow bone. Okay, so now since I do want the inner corner to be a little brighter and that pink was just not bright enough, I'm gonna just go over that pink highlighter with the white one. That's much better. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of that white and I'm gonna, also gonna pop it in the brow bone. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, since I am planning on wearing lashes, I'm just gonna do a thin line of eyeliner just on my top. Very, very thin because I do not want to cover my halo eye. Now the lines are done, I'm also gonna tie line but with the other side of the eyeliner. You know, now that I think of it, I don't really want to wear false lashes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put two or three coats of the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I'm going to see how it looks. And then I'm going to make up my mind on whether or not I want to wear lashes. Because I do want the halo eye to come through. And I feel like if I put lashes on, I won't be able to see it. By all means, if you want to wear lashes, do so. Wear your favorite lash pair with this look. Okay, so now our eyes are done. We're going to work on the face. I'm just going to wipe off any fallout that I had. Okay, so now that we have taken off all the fallout and I already moisturized my skin after putting on that makeup wipe, I'm gonna go in with the Dr. Brand's Pores No More on my pores. Guys, I've been loving this primer lately. And now, since it is Valentine's Day, I'm gonna go in with my Guerlain Linger The Pull Foundation in shade 03N. Guys, this is my favorite foundation of all time. I love this foundation so much. So now that I just placed the foundation, I'm just gonna blend it with my Tarte foundation brush. This foundation blends so quickly. Now I'm just gonna do the center of my face with the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna go in with Shape Tape Concealer. Just bouncing it in with the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna blend the one on my forehead with this brush. So now I'm just gonna bake my face with some airspun. I haven't really used airspun in a while, ever since I got the Patrick powder, and I don't know, I just feel like using this today. Now while that is baking, let's move to the under eye. So for my under eye, I'm just gonna keep it very simple. I'm just gonna do some pink and a little bit of the dual chrome. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E34 and the shade Love Letter. And I'm just gonna buff it all the way from outer corner to inner corner. And now with the same E34, I'm going to go in with that rose quartz shade we used. I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to put some of the La Mercier Caviar Stick and Plum on my waterline. And I'm just going to put some of the MAC Mascara. And then I'm going to kick off the bake and I'll be right back with you guys to do the rest of the face. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bronze my face using this shade on my cheeks. And now to bring out the cheekbone, I'm gonna grab the darkest shade and I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm gonna very lightly blend it. And of course, for my forehead, we're gonna go in with my Ambient Light Bronzer. Cause no, I love this stuff for the forehead. Such a beautiful bronzer. And now with the two lighter shades from the palette, the yellow one and the whiter one, I'm just gonna cut those cheekbones. And I'm also just highlighting my face. For blush, I'm gonna go in for the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party with my Luxie 514. 
feel like with the pink eye, you cannot skip out on blush. And now to highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox fan brush and this shade right here from the Carly Bible palette. So now for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in Buff. And yeah guys, that is it for this Valentine's Day Pink Halo Eye Makeup Tutorial. for this tutorial thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel before you leave and i hope you like this very romantic and smoky and pink and perfect for valentine's day makeup tutorial and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like me to do for you next any other tutorials or if you want something that's not so pink for valentine's day i think i'm gonna do a second look that's more smoky and brown as opposed to bright and pink so yeah definitely let me know if you have any other ideas in the comments down below because I love reading your comments. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.